What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm excited about today's video. Today we're gonna to be giving an account update of the M1 Finance account, but also we're gonna be going over the M1 Spend account because as you know, M1 does have a check-in account which offers, and they have M1 Plus which offers some different things. So we're gonna be going over those two things. But before we actually begin all of that, I just wanna give you an update on my channel and what I'm gonna be doing with this. So if you go to my channel, you're gonna see I have playlists now as I feel like my channel could have a wide range of topics and things to discuss. So I'm actually making playlist that way if you only want to see a certain topic that you actually find those videos related to that topic only and the whole point of that is i'm not trying to over inundate you guys with just random videos that you don't want to see if you come to the channel for a specific reason whether it's the fitness whether it's the investing whether it's the vlog style videos i just want you guys to be able to see the videos you want to see without being inundated with all the extra stuff that you don't want to see so I'm just incorporating that into the channel, creating playlists for you guys, making it simpler to watch videos. But enough of that. Let's get into the video of why we're here. Okay, I'm gonna, let's get in. Video, M1 Finance. Look, oh, I gotta look down. Okay, let's get to screen recording. Okay, so here we are in the M1 Finance account. As you can see, a little exciting. I'm actually up $9.55 or have a return of 4.76%. I did not add money to the account last week. Um, uh, from the last update, I went and paid some bills with the, the money I had made working Uber. But seeing stuff like this really excites me because this is the kind of stuff that makes you wanna add more to your portfolio. Seeing 4% gains or $10 gains, you know, with just such a little amount of money, you're like, man, I should really be adding more money to the account. I should really be putting my efforts into this. So if we look down here, the Vanguard S&P 500 is up $2 or 2.6%. Johnson & Johnson, $1.67, up 4.77%. Apple, 65 cents, up 2%. Amazon, up $4, 14%. Abvi, up $2, up 10%. Exxon Mobil, $1.36, down 6%. But overall, very exciting to see that I have a gain of $10. Haven't been adding no money to the account, but it's very exciting to see the portfolio grow. This is the reward that you want to see when you're investing because this is what gets you excited about investing more, especially if you're a beginner or new to investing. You know, when I first started, I had ups and downs. I seen my portfolio go as high as... 20 15 percent returns and then i've seen it go as low as negative 10 percent on my return no probably not that high like negative six percent on my return so i've seen some up and downs and um but i didn't let that influence me I, i've seen those as buying opportunities i've learned from other people that when you have companies you believe in and you see your portfolio going down you just invest more you don't be discouraged so i'm actually excited to see some gains. But how about we step into the second part of this video where we're gonna be talking about the M1 spend account. So introducing M1 spend. So apparently you could earn 1.5% APY and 1% cash back when you were on M1 Plus. Let's see what they're talking about. Begin enrollment. Confirm identity and profile. I'm going to take a quick break off the screen as I verify some of my information. Don't want you guys having all of that. So, boop, 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 boop. Okay, I'm just getting to the e-sign disclosure. Almost done. I'll make sure you read through the terms and conditions before you go ahead and start accepting things. Okay, this is the interesting part, though, here. So, we're going to get back to the screen. Now, so we're at daily limits for an ATM card. Let's just open this. Now, here's some of the things. Daily limitations on cash withdrawals, transfers, and purchases apply for both ATM and Visa debit card. So here are your daily withdrawals. So you may withdraw up to $510 from an ATM terminal each day. Now that's average. I could only pull out $500 a day from the ATM. So that's pretty normal. I'm not sure what other banks do, but I have a credit union and this is very normal. 
Now, this is the part that worries me the most. You may buy up to $1,010 worth of goods of services each day. So that means if you have big purchases planned, you're not going to be able to use the M1 debit card to buy anything over $1,000 each day. So I don't know if you plan on taking trips, earning 1% cash back, or doing certain things. They really limit themselves here with saying that you could only spend up to $1,000 each and every day. I'm not really a fan of that. Don't really like that at all. Electronic funds and transfers. Okay, this is something that worried me when I was reading it. Tell us at once if you believe your card and or code has been lost or stolen. If you believe that electronic fund transfers have been made without your permission using information from your account, telephoning us is the best way to keep your possible losses down. You could lose all of your money in your account. So some, if someone hacks your account or you lose your card, they're telling you that you could lose all of your money. If you tell us within two days after you learn of the loss of your or theft of your card, you could lose no more than $50. So you're saying that I'm not really protected by stolen card or identity theft. And if I tell them within two days, I could still lose up to $50. So it sounds like they're almost charging you a fee, but they're not really because they're going to say, well, your money was stolen, so you're not going to get all of it back. But it sounds to me like a hidden fee, basically saying if you're irresponsible when your card gets stolen or lost, that they could charge you, you could lose no more than $50. That That's a little worrying. That's a little worrying. If you do not tell us within two business days, you could lose as much as $500. So it seems like they penalize you the longer you let this go on that your card has been stolen and then... I just find it weird. I just find it weird. It seems like a feat to me. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. Whether if you tell us within two days, no more than $50. It's just a little weird. So funds availability. In addition to funds, your deposit, you deposit by check may be delayed for a longer period under the following steps. We believe a check you deposit would not be paid. You deposit checks total more than 5,000 on any day. You re-deposit a check that has been returned unpaid. You overdrawn your account repeatedly in the last six months. There's an emergency such as failure or communications equipment. Okay, so special rules for new accounts. If you're new customer within the first 30 days of your account opening, do, do, do we receive funds from the deposit of cash wire transfers in the first 5,000 of a day's total deposits will be available on the first day after your deposit. Okay, so that's not so bad. They only hold it for a day. Up to $5,000. And as you can see here, Linking Savings Bank is actually the bank that is funding M1. So. M1 is not the holder, it's Lincoln Savings Bank. They're the one responsible for keeping your cash. Okay, Lincoln Savings Bank. Sorry this video is taking a little long, but I really wanna go in depth with this M1 spend account. So no minimum balance required to open. We reserve the right to delay the availability of funds for any deposits for a period of time determined at our sole discretion. A little worrisome. The maximum amount that may be withdrawn or transferred to external account is $10,000 per day, $50,000 per month. There is a $1 minimum for all withdrawals or transfers. I almost thought that I was going to say there's a $1 fee for all withdrawals or transfers. I was going to say, no way, Jose. This account only receives e-statements, electronic transactions only. No checks can be written on the account or nor can any non-electronic checks be deposited into the account m1 plus okay this is where it could get interesting so there's no minimum balance interest rate paid on the account will be 1.5 with an annual interest rate of 1.5 your interest rate and annual yield may change at the bank's discretion we may change the interest rate on your account daily 
Interest will be compounded monthly and credited to your monthly account. If you close your account before the interest and credit, you will receive the accrued interest. Again, maximum withdrawals, $10,000 per day, nothing $50,000 per month, nothing really changes besides the 1.5% APY. We're just gonna go ahead and accept Step two, verify your identity. Okay, so now it's step two, I gotta verify my identity. So I'm, we're taking it off screen, coming back here, just answering some quick questions. Okay, I've verified my identity. Let's get back to down below. Okay, spend is changing how transfers work. Here's what you need to know. You, you, your investing accounts and external bank accounts will link, will only link to your spend account. External bank, direct deposit, IRA account, individual account. Transferring cash between spend and invest accounts will com complete by the following trade window. Cash can be held in both your spend and invest accounts. Congratulations, your spend account is officially open. To connect a bank, go to transfers. You have no transactions yet, debit card. I'm gonna go ahead and request. Congratulations, your card will arrive in the mail within one to two weeks. Okay, so that's it on the M1 spend account. I'm getting my card in one to two weeks. However, what I didn't see is it didn't let me choose if I wanted the M1 spend account, the basic account, everything that's free. It didn't break that down for me, The all the zero, zero uh, transaction fees, zero annual fee versus the M1 plus. It didn't show me the two differences. On other videos, I did see they had like a, a save calculator, spend calculator, if you're spending the 150, because they do charge 150 for the M1 Plus annually. And they didn't show the difference between like the free account and the, the M1 Plus account. And then the potential savings, if I went with the 150, how that could be offset for the great interest rate they have of 1.5%. Of course, that is better than most banks, but they didn't show that, and I've seen that on other videos, so I'm a little disappointed by that. But that's the, M1, that's the M1 spend account. I'm gonna be receiving my card in one to two weeks. I'll show you that when it gets here. But other than, yeah, uh, just seeing my portfolio today and seeing the gains, the little 5% gain and the $10 gain, uh, $10 overall gain, makes me really excited, makes me want to put more into the stock market. I think that's the great thing about the stock market. I don't really worry about red days as far as like, oh, I need to sell my stock. I just see those as buying opportunities. But when I see the green, I definitely be like, oh, I want to add more to my account, $50, $20. Again, these are fractional shares. So I'm willing to put $10 in. Well, my other account, I have to purchase whole shares. It kind of takes me a while to pick where I want to allocate my money, but with the M1 Finance, I could just throw it anywhere I like, which I find really interesting. But that's all I really have today for this weekly update on the M1 Finance account. Hope you guys enjoyed. But before I leave, how about you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Again, I'm going to be making playlists of the videos I do on my channel. So if you only want to see financing videos, you're going to see them. If you only want to see the health and fitness videos, you're going to see that. But I'll be able to do that so it's easier for you guys to find the videos you want to see. And thank you for supporting the channel. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one.